So the Redmi K40 is now official as the company launched it in the Chinese market today. As the name suggests, it is the successor of Redmi K30 of last year and this time Redmi has offered an impressive hardware for a starting price of 1999 Chinese yuan which translates to 310 US dollars or around rupees 22000. At the moment, there is no word from the company when the Redmi K40 series is launching outside China, but as always, the price outside China is going to be higher. Speaking of the design first, the Redmi K40 looks and feels premium thanks to the fact that the company went for Gorilla Glass 5 on the front as well as on the back. There is a rectangular camera module with three cameras in it and the fingerprint scanner is there on the side. There is no 3.5mm headphone jack on the K40 so the Type-C port is the only port on this phone. For comparison, the Redmi K30 of last year did have a headphone jack. Anyways, there are stereo speakers as well, so while one speaker is there on the bottom, the secondary speaker is there on the top, not on the front. Speaking of the front, there is a flat screen with a centered hole punch cutout. Now the display is definitely one of the unique selling points of this phone because it is a Samsung's E4 AMOLED panel featuring 120Hz refresh rate and up to 360Hz touch response rate. The peak brightness of this screen is 1300 nits and it has HDR10 Plus support as well. Under the hood, there is the Snapdragon 870 chipset and if you don't know, it is like a slight upgrade to the Snapdragon 865 Plus of last year because most of the specifications are the same except one and that is the clock speed of the high performance CPU cores. It is 3.2GHz in case of the Snapdragon 870. This chipset is paired with LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. Redmi K40 has a 4520mAh battery and it supports 33W fast charging. Finally, speaking of the cameras on this phone, there are three on the back, so there is a primary 48 megapixel IMX 582 sensor, which is paired with an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and 5 megapixel macro camera. So it seems like in terms of the cameras, Redmi has done some cost cutting because this is the same camera sensor that was there on the Redmi K20 of 2019. But we should also consider the fact that the starting price of the Redmi K40 is the same as that of the Redmi K20 when it launched. There is a 20 megapixel camera on the front. So yeah, that is all about the all new Redmi K40 and in China it launched in three colors, black, blue and white. There are four storage options, so the price starts at 1999 yuan for the 6GB plus 128GB variant and goes up to 2699 yuan for the 12GB variant. Looking at all the specifications and the pricing, it won't be wrong to say that the Redmi K40 is a flagship killer. What do you think? Do let me know by the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.